Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, quick update on what was once a hurricane last night made landfall across the uh, Yucatan Peninsula, Ernesto. Notice how in the satellite photo you don't see as much white color across the center. Uh, the bright white represents big thunderstorms within the center of the storm. And watch, hurricane, hurricane, uh, white colors disappear, an indication of some weakening. Now a, a tropical storm and will make a, a second landfall, unfortunately, across the uh, uh, central Mexico. Top winds 52, gusts to 63, and here's the track may temporarily move back out over the water and then uh, approach uh, the Mexican coastline in a couple of days as a, uh, another tropical storm. Elsewhere, no tropical storms to be found, though we are watching a suspicious area off the coast of Africa. Meanwhile, closer to home, sunshine, or at least hazy sun coming through the cloud cover. The clouds outside right now are thin enough to allow the sunshine to be a little opaque and hazy, uh, enough to keep temperatures up in the lower 80s in most spots right now, upper 70s along the south shore, westerly 78, uh, Newport 77, New Bedford now coming in at 79 degrees. So you can see this thin uh, veil of clouds over southern New England, but not producing uh, any precipitation. Further to the north, there's more in the way of sunshine. But here's how it breaks down for this evening and overnight, starting off at the 7 o'clock this evening, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Uh, overnight tonight, uh, I do expect partly cloudy conditions. There may be a little bit of fog early tomorrow morning, especially along the south shore. This is around 7 a.m., but it will burn off rapidly to at least partly sunny skies. Now notice late in the afternoon or early to mid afternoon, mainly in our northwestern suburbs, right in here, let's say north and west of Route 95, especially north and west of 295, uh, the chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Very brief. Don't cancel any outdoor plans. Uh, these are short-lived and scattered. In fact, most areas probably not even getting them, but if, I would say the higher chance would be up in our northwestern suburbs mid to late afternoon, and then by tomorrow evening looking at the drier conditions. So for this evening, partly to mostly cloudy, no precipitation, mild and remaining humid temperatures in the lower 70s and overnight tonight there may be a little patchy fog towards daybreak along the south shores temperatures drop to the mid 60s tomorrow morning any early clouds and fog at sunrise burning up to sunshine 73 to 83 the morning range in temperature and then during the afternoon a warmer day mid and upper 80s under partly sunny skies the humidity is still up there and again just the outside chance small chance of a passing shower or thunderstorm beaches clouds and fog early I would say by 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, it burns off to sunshine. Air temperature 80, water temp at 75. Any fog lifting and burning off, visibility improving after 8 o'clock in the morning on the bay. Looking at a south breeze at 5 to 15. All right, seven-day outlook. Still going with the higher chances of scattered showers and thunder, uh, both Friday and especially Saturday. 86 Friday, 82 Saturday, then drying out, turning partly sunny on Sunday uh, with a high temperature near 80. You had asked me, you know, would, would there be opportunities to to kind of get outside both Friday and Saturday. I don't think it's an all day kind of a thing. There'll be lulls where you're able to get outside, but at the same time, you got to keep an eye to the sky for some, you know, brief interruptions. Well, that's a real problem for me. That is a problem. Okay. I'm working on it. Thanks, Danny. <laughs> all right.